and let's talk about healthcare and the fight between Amazon, Apple, and NVIDIA to take over healthcare. Mm -hmm. you see, so you see NVIDIA CEO says that digital biology will be one of the biggest revolutions ever. And there's a video of him talking about digital biology, which is pretty much human's ability to dictate biology, where obviously throughout world history, biology is dictated through science, right? Like you can't determine um, if your kid is going to be tall or not, right? You can't determine if your kid is going to have hazel eyes. It's just your DNA mixed with somebody else's DNA. And then there's a probability that they have it based off of your family history. But now when yeah. you can actually determine your biology, right? You could determine how you look. You could determine, you know, if your kid is going to be, you know, six, five, you could determine if your kid is going to have black eyes or, or blue eyes, um, what kind of hair they're going to have. Like you can kind of, you can, play around with the biology. So as you were saying that that's going to be one of the biggest revolutions ever. Then we also, NVIDIA also announced a AI powered mm. um, agents mm. yep. to replace nurses at hospitals or out outpatient um, recoveries. And um, the cost of this is going to be $9 an hour. That's the cost to run it. That's not the cost of a, paying a machine, but mm. the cost of it for like hospitals or providers is going to be $9 an, an hour as opposed to, you know, nurses make hundred and fifty thousand dollars a year um and it, it you know it, it says okay have you taken your medicine it's a video that we have on instagram as well have you taken your medicine um how do you feel all of the stuff that a, a nurses like i said especially on a outpatient recovery path would do to kind of you know instead of going to the hospital and having to talk they'll just be on an ipad in your living room and you can speak to them so those are two initiatives yeah. that two things that nvidia um, is involved with it. And of course, we talked about Apple for a while as far as their uh, push into healthcare and then Amazon as well, as far as their acquisition of PillPack a few years ago and a few other different things that they've done. So all of these tech companies are positioning themselves heavy in healthcare. So how do we feel about this and, and who's the ultimate winner out of this? Um, Hopefully Apple is for my reputation, but <laughs> ultimately, I think NVIDIA is going to be the big winner. Um, the thing about Jensen, like when I was watching him at the conference, Jensen is like the new Steve Jobs. Um, leather jacket on. I'll say, okay, swag. I'll see you. But um, the thing that I love about him is that he plans so far in the future and people don't really pay attention. Um, the partnership with Johnson & Johnson and GE Imaging probably will be impactful. But um, the thing that I noticed he said they've been making this healthcare effort for the last 10 years. Mm -hmm. so that part, I didn't know. I, I had heard some rumblings maybe four or five years ago uh, that they could make a move into the space, but they look like they have a pretty solid strategy. And if they can help companies be more effective, efficient um, across the globe, that's great. But healthcare to me is the number one sector that if you're not in, you probably are at a risk for being taken over in the next 10 years so i know apple's having issues with the iphone india is like the new promise land they need to dominate but globally healthcare is a sector everyone needs to be in uh, Aging population needs to be taken care of as we advance and have more wealth there's issues that come with that um so if they can find a way to use all of that data to help companies be more effective healthcare hasn't innovated as fast as they can but so if they can have a monopoly on helping Healthcare companies innovate faster and produce more profits. Nvidia should be the winner. I I think they are they are the winner. I think that multiple companies could be the winner. I don't I don't think it's yeah. just those three. Um, from a standpoint of when you think about Nvidia, the one thing that they may be missing is the data. Who is the user that they want to get their products to? Right? They don't have that. Amazon has that. Apple does have that. Yeah. Now, obviously, they have. The GPU that is going to help power that efficiency. So yes, if yep. all companies do them, they are a winner. But I think Amazon wins too, right? Amazon wins because they have the data, right? Because how many people are on Amazon Prime? How many customers do they have? Do they have same day delivery? They have the infrastructure to deliver on mm -hmm. the use case. Apple, they have the data. They do have the data. They have the user case. Um, like I said, we we talked about this plenty of times. They know your health. Right. They, yes. they can track your heart rate. Right. We can, you know, what I mean, they, they have that data too. How they're going to incorporate it. They haven't announced yet, but in June, I'm sure everybody's looking forward to it. June 6th or 7th, their initiative yeah. into the, the realm of AI. 
But we always talk about the ecosystem around NVIDIA and AI. And so even in the article, we're talking about uh, companies like Recursion and, and Genetech who are helping NVIDIA inside of the medical field. And so yeah. if we're going to say NVIDIA is a winner, well, who's helping them inside of the field of, of so healthcare to, to build? So the, there's pl I think there's going to be plenty of winners. Um, some of them are ob the obvious, right? The big dogs. But then there's, look at the companies NVIDIA is invested in, right? Inside of healthcare. They're going to help them with this initiative. So there's going to be a, a lot of winners, some that we know now and some we got to do the research and, and track to figure out how we can be a part of it as well. Um, and I don't know if you guys saw, but Eli Lilly came out with an Alzheimer's drug that the commercial that. plan this week. So, yeah. so, so, yeah, for sure. And once again, this goes back to, as he said, the power of information. And, and when he was like, like I said, we he was in Davos. We didn't get a chance to see him in Davos, but he he was in Davos. But um, a lot of times, like you you hear about things, um, and then months later, like. That's when everybody starts to hear about it, even similar to this show. Like, you know, we've talked about a lot of different things and then months later it's come to fruition. So even these type of conversations, like it's in the news, but it's like, you know, just take advantage of the information that you receive when you receive it, because um, sometimes it, it doesn't necessarily hit right now today. It's like it's like planting a tree, right? Like you might you, you plant a tree today. You're not going to see the results tomorrow. Right. It might take six months. It might take a year. But when it when it does hit, the people that actually were early on that soil are the ones that's going to reap the benefits and the rewards. So get your tickets to invest fest. Big facts. Great segue too. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is uh, good, a fact. Yo. It's a fact. Chipotle. Yeah, I mean, even with, even with the some of the issues that Tesla was having, like we were talking about that late last year. I'm like pullback coming. Do you need better leadership? NVIDIA, of course, talked about that two years ago. Take advantage of the information. If I made you money, please put yes in chat, but use the information. Even the geopolitical stuff that's happening in Haiti now. If the border issue doesn't get fixed, you don't think this can happen here? Small city, El, El Paso, small city in parts of Phoenix. Like these things can happen really fast. Um, so be mindful, take take uh use of the information. Um, you 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 know, finding out who Drake and future beefing over ain't really gonna help you get rich unless you academics or something. But <laughs> come on, man. Black are gonna be crazy too. Bro Shoddy, good point. Disclaimer. We cannot yay. Whoever your friends work is your friends work. Quit. We ain't never gonna get a classic album over old girl at Booby Trap. Yo, shout out to everybody at Booby Trap. <laughs> Try to put your hoodie on. <laughs> what? I wasn't Man. there. <laughs> I wasn't My there. God. I don't recall. <laughs> shout out to Diane and Ashley, though. But Jesus Christ, this is what we doing. Support Do the Google and Apple, yo. Pay the 20 billion so we can keep the partnership. Come on, man. Take Apple Gemini garden. Garden. Apple, please. If you take fruit from a man's garden, be sure to replenish it please. twice twice over, ideally. Or cash or ad. Yo, what's up? Da, da, da. Cash considerations. You know, big facts. Three future draft picks. Future draft picks and and cash considerations. Hey man, come on. 